Hello, everybody. First of all, um, thanks to join us. Um, here we're gonna we're gonna tell you about uh, something about our history and how we building one Drupal shop in Brazil. Um, the title is "How to Build a Drupal Shop with No Money with a Lot of Desire." And so, uh, I'm Fred. Um, yeah, I'm talent manager and partner and co-founder with Rafael. I have 20 years of experience in business and graduation in strategic marketing. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, I am Rafael Cáceres. Uh, I'm Tyler Managing Partner, too. Uh, I have 15 years of experience in web projects, and I'm graduating in computer science. So uh, Fred and I started Tyler with two other partners in the beginning. Uh, Sebastian Ferrari, that is, uh, is doing this presentation right now, and Vinicius Freitas, who is in the United States right now. And we, we this, is, this is our first uh, English presentation, presentation in English. And sorry if you wonder, don't understand something, you can ask and uh, feel free to, to that. Uh, and so. The first of all, uh, this guy was, uh, was our inspiration. His name is Guy Kawasaki. And <clears throat> this book, for uh, the art of the start, was our big inspiration in the beginning. Uh, we, we eat this book <laughs> and we, we read uh, a lot and we, we try to apply the, uh, all this knowledge. He, is, uh, he was... <clears throat> um, uh, team from Apple in uh, 1984, and he today he is a venture capitalist and uh, writer. Now he, he has a lot of books and uh, is uh, awesome books. So uh, first of all, uh, uh, our advice is learn how to provide valuable services, how to sell, how to manage your finances. The best way uh, to start that is uh, as a uh, freelancer. Uh, this will give you the basic business experience to help you figure out if you get a business is, where is what you really want. Yeah, but uh, if you cannot be like a freelancer, uh, it's good to, to you to be a, a working with uh, big companies. If you not can work in a big companies in the marketing uh, area or commercial area, and you're going to get a lot of experience, and you can put this in your startup. So, um, this is our island uh, where we live. Uh, some like, uh, look like a Silicon Valley in Brazil, and there are um, growing uh, scenario of uh, technology, and yeah, it's a beautiful place to, to, to visit, and you, everybody is invited already to come. Um, so, uh, we start really, really small in, in the, the room of my, my, my house, and um, we a lot of desire with no money, and we believe a lot of in our dreams. That's the why we are talking about this. So, um, uh, Sebastian, uh, the other partner, live in São Paulo, and we start the, the, the company, me and Rafael in Florianópolis, Sebastian in São Paulo, and Vini uh, living in the USA. Uh, in the beginning, we are all <coughs> home office, and we start in, in, in your garage. So it's a, it's a really good way to start. You, you don't, want, don't have to, to spend a lot of money and rent big offices. You can, you can start small. So uh, you often won't have all the tools, time, and people you think you need. It's important to learn, to always try your best. Uh, with the, thing is, the best with what you, <coughs> sorry, <laughs> with what you have. So uh, we rent this house in Florianópolis. Um, 
some guys here know Nikki. <laughs> and in the beginning, we we are six, seven people in a big house, and we live in the house to save money uh, for about one year, and we we split the the hand with the the company. Uh, is that that's the, the beginning? Just just a, a few people. So. <clears throat> And now we, we move to a, to a bigger place. And now we have 28 people working with us. Um, and we, we made a lot of mistakes. We, we learned a lot of what not to do. But we, we also have, uh, have done some great things. This presentation is a mix of our sources and our failures. Uh, until today. Cool. Uh, so if you want to be an entrepreneur, um, money, money is not the why. Um, if you get money, if you want to get money real fast, uh, startup is not the best way to to to, to start some company. If you if you uh, believe in your dreams, um, you need to be an entrepreneur uh, and be part of of it. Uh, if you just want to be a, a boss, a startup is not the best choice. Startup is, is hard. It's not really easy to, to start, and you must believe in yourself and your team and everybody. Yeah, uh, this guy is uh, Simon Sinek. He <clears throat> he writes a book and he gave a classic presentation in TED Talks. Uh, you can search it after. Uh, it, the presentation is about he, what he calls a golden cycle. Uh, he says people don't don't buy what you do. Uh, people buy why you do, and Tyler start with a why. This is our why. Get together a group of committed and talented people with a common purpose, who want to improve the world, innovation, innovation, developing people, and encouraging creativity freely. This is why we start the company in, in the, at the first. Uh, so we. We seized the opportunity. In the beginning, there were a few Drupal shops in Brazil. Uh, at the time, none of, none of them was, were agile. And none of them had a startup culture. And we, we want really to, to, to try that. A Drupal shop with a startup culture and, and work with agile, agile <coughs> uh, methods. Yeah, now we're going to start to talk about some methods and what, what we think is good. And so let's talk about Blue Ocean. Uh, uh, it's, it's good if you have a, um, a vision and to, to make your strategy. Yeah? Uh, to find the right time, uh, we must be alert. Uh, focus on always out of, uh, out of comfort zone. So you need to be really, really uh, attention in the market, in the opportunities, and you can, and you probably will find something to, to, to put your money or put your, your energy to start something. So we have to create an unconstant market space by reconstructing the marketing boundaries. You have to focus on the big picture, uh, reaching beyond the existing demand. You have to, to find where is this, this new demand and, and generate new values. And you, you get to, you, you, and get the strategic sequence right. You have to, to do this for, for, for eliminate the, the, uh, the, the competitors. So uh, the, other, the, the second thing, you have to create a vision. You have to, to, to believe in your vision. You have to work hard, and you reach it. You, you, you can do this. Yeah, and the vision. The vision need to have an expiring date. Uh, you need to have a, a, a deal. Né? You need to have a, a, a due date to do something. Our vision become a reference, become to be a reference company in high quality Drupal development in Brazil uh, by 2015. So we are of them. We, we are one of them. Uh, one of the most important thing, <laughs> carefully. Choose your partners. It's really, really serious. You have to find reliable people with complementary skills. You have to find what you aren't, you aren't good. 
and associate with people who are. Uh, for example, if you are a tech person, you need to find a business person. If you are a business person, you have to find a, a geek. You have to, to do this to, to, to balance the, the company. So uh, it's the, the best way to start because you, if you are alone, uh, it's really, really hard to, to do something. And we, with partners, uh, everything is easier. But have some, some problems too. But it's easier because you, <laughs> you can split the, the, the work and it's, it's, it's easier to start. Um, participate in the community is the, the, the most important thing. And we are talking here about Drupal, but not just Drupal community. You have, uh, we have a lot of communities uh, that we can participate, like uh, startups and agile methods and uh, and other technologies. So it's, it's the, uh, a good way to get involved with people with the same interest. Find business partners, find customers, uh, find contributors. Uh, and you have to contribute with code, with documentation, with support. And uh, this will, will help you to find people to work with you. Cool. Um, that's, a, that's a very important tool. Uh, business model canvas. Uh, define your business model. Uh, we use that, use that tool to be, uh, in the beginning of the journey. It helps us a lot uh, to understand our challenge, where and to get the big pictures of business quickly. So this is a, um, it's a very nice tool because you, you, you must put the most important thing, what you want to start or what you believe, and it's easier to, to check this, this, this out and make your uh, decisions uh, faster. This is to help you to, to get the big picture. So it's uh, really important. Uh, we have to, uh, to find our customer segments, uh, to find your values proposition, what we are offering to, to our clients, to our customers, and how we will communicate with them, uh, how we uh, uh, will spend the money, how we will get the money, and what solution we want to, to solve. So uh, I recommend you to, to find, and if you want to, to start a business, it's a really, really, really important thing to do. The, the, the one's uh, almost the same, but it's a, a little bit new. new uh, in comparative of the business model canvas, and you can you can sh search in the Google with the link canvas. It's kind of the same, but uh, a little bit uh, different. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, first, let me. This is is easier. Um, in the beginning, uh, we, we have to find our customer segments. So, uh, for example, uh, agencies, uh, governments, um, other tech companies who want to, to do Drupal but don't know how, and this the kind of things. Uh, your value proposition was to, to bring quality software to these companies, not, not just quality software, uh, products, uh, working with the whole, um, the whole product by itself. Uh, Usually, com tech companies don't 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 care about design and other things, and we we really care. So it's a value that we want to to share with our customers. So um, we, what what are where are channels like events, uh, Drupal Drupal camps, and other events? How how we blog our blog um, uh, forums and etc. How how you we try. And uh, here, for example, we have a, our cost structure. In the beginning, no, no cost structure. Just living uh, in the, uh, Fred's living room and uh, anyone, uh, each of us in your home, so we can not spend money. It's, it's, uh, help us. And the heaven streams is, uh, for example, uh, outsourcing software, training, consulting, mentoring, uh, like this, this, those things. So we should find, when we put those, the, uh, all these things in, the, um, in this canvas, you can see the big picture of your business without making a business, how uh, um, business, well, without do a lot of documents and you, know, you do this quickly and you have the, the, the X-ray of your company. So,
So, val uh, sorry. Focus on value to execute fast. It's important. Value, value is when your client realizes that he's getting more or expend less with you. And expensive or cheap is a sim simple uh, perception of value. So th th this is where, uh, our, our, our value. Right? Uh, you, you want to execute fast, and we, we want to do things fast to, to uh, bring, it, bring to our clients, uh, our customers, uh, uh, time to market, mostly. So um, this, this other thing is, is really important. This is from the book of The Art of Start. Um, if you want to create a company, we, we have to do this, uh, you have to do one, at least one of these four things. One, make the world a better place. Uh, uh, increase the quality of life. Right a terrible wrong and prevent the ending of something good. So we, we make the world a better place is the, the, the thing we mostly try to do. And we, we do this by creating an a environment so the people can uh, be yourselves and can uh, do the, uh, try to uh, help us to, in the decisions. And we, we are a horizontal uh, company. So uh, people can, can really uh, work without uh, concerns and, and what is it trying. So, being by providing service. Uh, products take time and money to be developed. Uh, with a service, you can make money in the next day. It's easier with, with uh, service. We start providing service, thinking about one day we, we start to, to, to be the our product. And we, we try to be profitable to invest in our product development. Uh, that's what we have to uh, say right now. Uh, it's easier if you start with doing service for the other companies, but if you want to change the world in some way, uh, if you have some product to do this, uh, it's, it's easier and better if, if you are doing service. Um, here's like um, Lean Startup, what we really believe, and we follow this, these rules. And since the beginning, we've applied ideas and concepts from the Lean Startup. We are providing development service to our clients. We believe that avoid waste through the organization help us reach profit, profitability, enabling us to invest talent people that make a great team. And, and the, the biggest waste is, is making something that no one wants. So uh, a lot of people try to, to do something great and, and when you, you you bring to your uh, to your customer, don't no one wants. That. So we're trying to to find this the uh, this uh, this valuable uh, work that we do, and working with Drupal and making ma making sites, make portals, uh, little portals, little little sites, getting projects with whole interface design, and is the. It's what I um, was trying to talk about early, that uh, how often we working with Drupal, we get some projects with the whole interface design up front, done up front. So, and when we try, we start to, to, to build, uh, this design change during the execution process, always. So we're trying to, to sell to our clients to, to, to start small. And we want to, to work with the designers and, and talk to the designers so we, we, we don't have this waste. Uh, and we, we, we try to be agile and lean in our aspects of the, our company. So we would have a greater chance of the sources doing, doing this because we don't have so much waste. Yeah, don't manage people, manage the system. It's, it's really important in your startup. Uh, <clears throat> this is Agile Manifesto. Uh, Agile Manifesto is, is, is say to us, individuals inter interactions over processes and tools. Working software over comprehensive documentation. Customer collaboration over contact negotiation. Responding to change over following a plan. So uh, processes and tools in Agile companies is really, really important, but not more important than people. Uh, 
people to take the, the process and tools, not the tools to take the how people should work. This is really important. Yeah, we believe that because uh, it's easier if you are like a transparent with your client. Uh, you don't need to, to make like a contract to to uh, to like a, to to make a security of if if something go, going wrong if you if you have a a relationship with with them like uh like 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 we will do with your friends uh the the clients come to close to you and everything's go easy and this is management trio uh, uh half of from just digital have a great Great, uh, he's not here. He's had a great uh, video about this management trio, and I don't know if you have subtitles yet, but it's a, a really good place to to find something. So we are, we applied that that concept uh, in the beginning the, in our company uh, before we even know this term. This term is really uh, new, uh, and we seek to spread uh, this concept in how are in the company. It's, it's very important. We, we try to put this in financials, in the commercial areas, in the marketing areas. Uh, it's not easy, but we made a, a, it's not easy. And we make um, a lot of mistakes often by assuming many responsibility. Ma uh, make a mistake, it's good. And you learn fast and you can change and you can move, up, move it forward. And we make a lot of mistakes in the beginning. Uh, for example, to, to please our customers, uh, one of the customers, we we try to to find fr freelancers and 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 get the 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 project anyway, and we try to embrace more than our capacity always. So it, this is the, the a great waste. Uh, the freelancers the freelancers get, uh, <clears throat> have left us down early in the project from the beginning, and <laughs> this uh, after that. The, the project was down, downward spiral and the, until the project failed. And we lost money and we lost the customer and did lo the, we didn't look good. Uh, so it, this is important because uh, uh, what Fred told us is, is the, the, the truth. You, no problem to, to make a mistake. So you, so you have to learn, uh, learn from, from these mistake, mistakes and, and move, move, move forward. Because of that, embrace your constraints. Uh, a chain is only as strong as its uh, weakest link. Uh, this is true uh, because you have a lot of uh, strong people. If you have another uh, people who don't uh, have the same uh, um, um, capacity of uh, everybody, uh, you need to, to stop and help them to come with us. It's, uh, it's easier to move forward fast and with uh, responsibility. Uh, you have to, to find this, this, this weakest link and try to, to fix it. So, uh, it, it, so this means that we will always be a weakness in the organization that will affect the company, the whole company performance. So you have to find this it and, and fix it. And the, uh, find another and fix it. Uh, this book, uh, The Go, uh, uh, describes the tower of constraints uh, it, it's talk about the, the, this, this restrict, this, this constraints and restrictions that, that you have. So uh, it's another reference. So um, a system with more than 80% of your capacity tends to have an uh, endless queue. It's kind of this in our city in the summer. It's uh, our cities like have more, no more than 600 people in. Normal days in the summer, we have more than two millions and happen these every day. Uh, <laughs> it's like a car queue, like you see here. Uh, if the street is full, 100% of this capacity, all the cars stop, everything in everywhere. Uh, if, uh, if one car broke, all the cars will, this will be crazy. If you have a, a, a freeway, uh, two cars will broke or, or uh, have some problems, we 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 will be slower, but we will not. We don't stop. We will uh, continue 
flow. We have a continuous flow every, uh, uh, always. Um, chaos theory is about no, not to not trying to um, uh, to see the future, to prevent the future. Uh, uh, a system problem can affect an unimaginable basis, so uh, do not plan for long periods. Um, have a purpose and goals, uh, but not try to make detailed plans. It's a waste. When long shots are made, they end up reflecting more than had fantasy of who planned this reality. So uh, we don't try to plan for six months, one year. It's a waste because the, the chaos theory says. Yes. Design thinking. Uh, think like a designer. It's a, it's a great uh, tip as well. Uh, turn problem into solutions. Uh, you can, you, you can um, move your uh, uh, way off you see something. Yeah. And explore new ways to do old things. Uh, like we say in Brazil, uh, you move from out of your square. <laughs> Try to understand the client and his, and his real needs. Um, scratching. Your own each. It's very important. Uh, create something that we, you would buy. So the process what we building, uh, it's it's kind of of this. We have some problem, and so if we, we have some problem, another people or another company have the same problem or some problem similar uh, with that. Uh, so scratch your own each. Uh, uh, automate services. Uh, trying to uh, create products with better efficiency and improve uh, something that you, you don't don't like. It's a great way to to create something valuable. Um, this guy is Steve Blank. He creates something uh, named uh, customer development. That's the base of the Lean Startup uh, projects, and they they. they we, we don't want to create products, we want to create customers, and we have to find customers and validate these customers, and if you don't find this customer, we have to pivot and try another hypothesis, and until you find this, this customer, when you find this customer, we have to create uh, this customer, and after that, you have to build a company. So uh, this is an important thing. You have to search, and after, you execute. execute. So create something that you that you would buy. Yeah. Uh, try to make something you think you cannot. Try. You can you can make a mistake. No worries, and you learn about that. Define audacious goals for yourself. Um, I read something last week about uh, Mark. He tried to 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 set some big goals. And that's one good way to, to, to prove for yourself if you can do something what you think what you cannot do. Uh, and, you, and you can talk with your friends, you can talk with a lot of people, so you'll be more, um, um, you're gonna put off all your energy to, to reach these goals. Uh, and the one thing is really nice to, to say, think big, don't, af don't afraid about that. Try to make something you don't, you think you cannot, like like I say, uh, it's it's hard, but it's good. So why metrics matter? Uh, create metrics and measure them it can be your biggest challenge. We we are trying, but it's not not so easy. Uh, but we are constant constantly trying to improve your metrics, and we will never stop to seek this this excellence because we know that's the only way to find something good. And we have to measure and 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 to see if you are uh, evolving or, or or not. So it's a uh, it's really important. Yeah, uh, the metric is new, is not e really easy to 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 start to to do in your company. It's uh, one of our um, uh, challenge in in our company. So we need to 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 to, to keep moving. And milestones. Milestones is really important too. Keep setting important dates. We we spoke before about that. If you have some due date to do something, you'll be more um, uh, involved with that, and we try to to reach this goal, that that goal. Setting deadlines, uh, measuring the results, 
and create a committed and develop resilience. Resilience is a very important word. And try to continue to measure the value. You have to, to give your, uh, your customers value. Uh, how you perceive by, how you, you are perceived by your clients? Uh, search this information and they are available too. Uh, what your clients tell about, about you change the way you, you think about your business. You have to, to listen to her, to him. So, uh, one of the things what we do a lot in our company is retrospectives. Uh, sometimes some clients can think this is a waste time, but it's not waste time. It's very important. In that moment, you can talk about mistakes and can talk about new goals, and you can prove your team and yourself. Uh, that's the, the most important is to remember, you are, you are not looking to blame. Yeah, you are looking to, to a process. And why something happens in this way? It's a good question to, to do. Uh, why we don't realize that? Uh, what could make us walk faster? Uh, the essential is the people as a team take responsibility for the process and result and find solution in the same way. So that's, that, that's really, really important. And uh, if you can uh, show that important uh, stuff for your client, uh, everything can, can be can, can be good in your relationship with them. Uh, one thing about retrospective retrospective is uh, we we try to make retrospectives with our clients and with your team. So uh, we we try to to to, to ask some, some questions. Uh, what uh, <clears throat> what we are, we are doing wrong? What we are doing right too, and what we need to start to do. This is um, the three questions that change change everything. So, with these questions, you can improve continuous, continuously. Don't me, don't don't not be afraid to change. This is a good thing. Change. You have to change every day. So uh, look out of your comfort zone. It's important. Uh, you can improve one percent every day. You're gonna be three hundred sixty-five percent in one year. Uh, make, make a change trying to take the most of your resource. Feedbacks, feedbacks 360. Uh, it's, it's a good, uh, good, good to, to, to improve uh, um, relationship in, uh, in your company and your startup. Um, and we try to do this uh, every six months. Uh, and this is getting better, the relationship with everybody. And you know what you need to, to, to improve yourself, and you help your friends and your colleagues and your, uh, your team to improve too. Uh, <clears throat> know your team's frustrations and help them to improve is what the, the feedback is doing. Uh, they should have an open channel to speak and suggest uh, without, without being judged. judged. Uh, so, um, Listen to your customer's problem. Make him your friend. What I told before, it's going to be easier, your relationship with them. Sorry. Talk to him. Can I, can I continue? Uh, make, make him uh, a friend of you. Uh, talk, talk to him uh, in day-to-day -day basis. Uh, listen uh, his pain. You can help him and he can help you. It doesn't have to be a formally always. We listen to our customers periodically and retrospectives, retrospectives when we ask how we can improve uh, that we have to keep and what we need to start doing, like half a said for. Uh, follow ups. Sorry. Okay. okay. Um, I was going to ask you, like, you, have, you have a lot of like management mm -hmm. stuff, right? A lot of communications, a lot of marketing. But you guys are developers, right? Sorry? You are developers. You're I am developer. Uh, I am the yeah. marketing. Uh, You're the business yeah, person. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So I was wondering, you know, like, like how do you split your time? Is that, I see a lot of, you know, marketing and all that. And so what time do you... Do you how do you split your time? Like how do you manage that? Right? Because taking care of your clients, it really can take uh, a yeah. long time to do that. 
trees full time jobs. Yeah, 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 it's not easy. But yeah. I didn't have, we didn't have any plans. So yeah. then you yeah. did the element park, start just being like something like just the day to day. So you just like deliver, deliver, deliver. And to what extent your manifesto, for example, okay. is really being true to what you do? Today, yeah. so be a little bit easier because we have like, uh, like 28 people. 20 uh, people? 28, yeah. And in the, the beginning, we are like five, five people. It's been hard to do everything. But now we try to, half of it's a partner as well, but he's not the collateral all the time. And he help us do this with our team. And yeah, so you need to, to, to give, to, to improve your team to do this, you know. Uh, we, we have no bosses, we have no, like, uh, everything what we do is not like, uh, I, 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 did, I, I never uh, tell you what you want to do, or what you need to do. You tell me what you can do. You know, it's like a Kanban and a Java project. It's, it's easier to, 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 for you can make what you want to do, or what you can do. So everybody, everybody has a, a voice in the, in the company and everybody help us to do that. That's why a little bit, we are split that, 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 that communication. Today I only develop uh, uh, just the development in the strategic and innovation projects. So for example, uh, Last year, I, I, I developed a, developed a mobile uh, application with the NFC and uh, a lot of new stuff. So this kind of uh, this kind of of of, of thing. Uh, <laughs> So th this is the way we talk to our clients uh, in the day 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 to day basis. Uh, we we always uh, make make he, he knows what's happening in the project every day. Yeah, it's important. Uh, so we have some clients like uh, different from the other ones, and follow up is very important. If something is going wrong in the future, you have everything in documentations, and you can show them. Uh, if you have one re good relationship with your client. Uh, you can do follow-ups like uh, weekly, weekly, and if the relationship is a little bit like uh, tense, you must to be like every day. You can, you can, uh, you can, re uh, you can like um, a security for, for your company if if he, he asks you something what it's not true. It's important to to big big companies, and you have this this hierarchy, and you have to. When they scale to the, the, the boss of boss of boss, and we have, it's important. So and, and empower the people. Um, autonom uh, autonomous teams and motivate team uh, with a line and vision. Work, work, work better and go, go far away. Uh, people want to feel part of the, of the, the whole. And with, with what they think and believe have a real value to us, to, to all of us, and we have to solve this problem faster. And, and, and the, the, it's really important in our company. The people have power. The, the, the developers, the designers, everybody have power to, to change everything, to make decisions without asking ask us all the time. And this is really important because we, we, if you want to control everything, we will we, we'll be working every uh, 24 hours a day. And we have to uh, split this, this with other people. Uh, and uh, participate in events, uh, doing lectures like us and our first lectures in a big event like that. <laughs> it's a great way to meet the talk uh, heads of Drupal or the other communities. Uh, it's not really easy, as you can see, <laughs> but uh, we must try. Uh, support social ideas to improve your local community. Yeah, you, we do it a lot in Brazil. We have uh, another community, not just Drupal. We need to be involved with that, and you can find another opportunities, another uh, people. Maybe you can find some talent over there, and you bring to your company. It's really important too, and help the world to be a better place. <laughs> so uh, at the end, uh, this is the the last thing we we did uh, is ma map your culture. Um, 
This is one thing we, we, we took from Zappos. Uh, this is really important because, uh, first of all, culture is not a, something you create for, for nothing. Uh, you have to do some work and to, um, you take a while for your company to have your culture. And uh, your, your trajectory can serve as insight to others. So map your culture is really important. Uh, facilitate the understanding of in the absorption of the applied culture to anyone who will be part of a company. So if you have a mapped culture, uh, everybody who, who wants to, to, to join to us will know what, what the, uh, they have to expect, expect and how we, we behave and how, uh, how Tyler works, for example. Yeah, we can, we, you can start to, to do like this with um, uh, building one mantra. Uh, mantra, uh, it's like one, one phrase or one word or two, three, uh, to tell to all your employees what you want to do, where you're going to go, uh, and they, they, you will understand everything and you, they will come with you. Uh, it's really important to keep the team um, uh, strong. And here's the, almost the last one, to infinite and beyond. The holacracy, uh, what Rafa told you, told you guys about uh, the Zappos, holacracy is a, it's a kind of a, um, um, democracy. is not a kind of democracy, but it's not really democracy. It's like yeah, I will try to, to explain. If we, everybody wants to do something here, we make a, like a meeting, and if have, if uh, someone have one idea and say to everybody, nobody. Uh, go, go, go. Co uh, if you have a consensus, if everybody, the decision is made already. It's an easier way, way but it's not, uh, it's not easy to uh, apply in your, in your company. Uh, we're trying to do that uh, in that, this moment. Uh, holacracy is important because we, we, we will uh, you end with all the. Uh, we, we don't have bosses. Uh, we, we, we own the company, but we, we, we are no bosses. So the people have to, to, to do something. <laughs> so the, 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 the things won't, won't happen. Another thing we are starting to, to, to improve is our digital marketing, trying to um, uh, write more and write books and do something. And the, 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 only, the, the last thing is Coffee Kaizen. Coffee Kaizen is a, a way to, <clears throat> to find root, root cause analysis with your clients. So when you're, the things are really bad and sometimes the things <laughs> go, go, goes wrong, we, we try to meet with our clients and we, in a room with a lot of post and, and, and try to find this root cause of every problem in the process and we try to to fix that with, with him. So guys, uh, that's the last slide. Uh, we are what we do and what we share. So if you have some questions, we can, we can answer again. And uh, sorry about the English again. Is the <laughs> uh, when, when we, we applied to, to the conference, we, we didn't know that Portuguese would not be allowed. So. We are really trying, it's a really challenge to us, so sorry again. <laughs> yeah, guys, uh, thank you. Queres perguntar de novo? De novo? Great, great presentation. Since you tried so hard in uh, English, I'll try to ask my question in Spanish. Um, la pregunta es que hablas uh, de cerca de capacitación, uh, la teoría de capacitación. Entonces, uh, de, de, de desarrollos que trabajan con ustedes, ¿tiene, cómo, ¿tienen un obje objetivo de horas o capacitación o qué resuelve eso? Uh, so, I can speak English. <laughs> um, you ask us if we uh, if the, we have the goals to 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 reach. That's the question. Um, 
run to it. So, so the, you had a slide on the capacity the, or the with the traffic, right? So my question is, um, to object the best flow, you know, like a load on a server, right? You you want the best flow, um, so there's no line, nobody's waiting in line. So how do you achieve that? How have you found to achieve that in your business? Um, first thing we we try to. Um, to do what we call a one piece flow. So we have a team and all the team working in one story for the time. So we don't have uh, this, this queries. So if we, one, one developer is having a problem, we, have, we do what we call stop the line. We stop the line, uh, how uh, Toyota is, is doing that for, with success. And we stop the line and then all the other developers Go to, to to this developer and and help uh, and help you to 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 fix or to to this uh, structure the the this this queue. So we, this this guarantee to us that no one have the, the uh, oh this is my job this is this is my work this is your work is all the work from team. And if something is 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 stopped is in the in the queue we have to all stop. And while we we all try to to fix this or to uh, remove the impediment or something like that, so this is the way we we we, we do this, and it really works because no one is, no one will waste uh, uh, stay waiting for other job. No, you have to 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 help them. So uh, we we start this with the Q and A team. Um, uh, in the beginning, we, what we do, we we develop developers um, write the code and go and and, and uh, uh, deploy and uh, go to the, the QA. QA um, uh, find a an, an error on failure and back, and we got this go and today no today the the the, the testers and the QA team works with the developers. Uh, to to don't have this 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 uh, waiting back. Yeah, they they pair programming to and, and we uh, we do everything with automated automated tests. So we we don't don't, don't do manual tests in our QA. So we help we help the, the team test team help the developers to create the tests and and everything flows much more. Uh, it, this happens in the whole area in the company as well. In the marketing area, in the commercial area, we have some. We have something going wrong. We we talk with somebody, and the guys come to us and help to to fix this problem or resolve faster. Uh, that's that, that's the way we try. So I, I know it's almost time for lunch, and <laughs> some people want to leave, I guess. But um, thank you guys because I know preparing. For a presentation in English, you know, not being your your you know even your second language, I guess is hard, right? But uh, yeah, congratulations! I think it's it's really important what you're trying to communicate, inspire in others. I wish that later perhaps we can get together. Some of us are interested really in more questions. You know, for example, not, not for right now, but I want to know. You know, you you talk about freelancers, but I work and I have a good job. You know, and, and I have my monthly check, then, you know, how, how can you jump into something like this, right? Because it's like throwing yourself into a cliff and being in the uncertainty for, for a good, you know, time. But um, I guess, you know, later on, um, I will look, look out for you and, and, and have more questions. Yeah, thank you again. Hola. Uh, I'm a big fan of the... Uh, TOC, so so I tried to apply the TOC theory on our project, but I haven't yet because. So I want to ask you: you you gonna use the tool for apply the TOC TOC on your project? TOC, yeah, theory of theory of constraint.
we uh, we uh, actually we now we are using Kanban method. You know, this is a great uh, method to 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 help us to find this flow. So in the, st the beginning, we 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 done a lot of Scrum. So it's not working for us, and we we move to 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 Kanban, and Kanban is based on uh, tariff constraints and and this this idea of flow. Uh, you have to to do something flow, uh, always flow, not never never back. So um, we 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 try to do that. So we 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 use a lot of tools uh, like the Jira for for control your process. Um, I don't know Renato. Yeah, we use the Trello. Uh, it depends on the project. It, it, when the software projects, we use Jira, and the marketing, finances, and other uh, areas of the company, we use Trello. And but we use a lot of tools. But the people use the tools for uh, when they they need to. Oh, oh I need this. Uh, I I find it's a great tool that helped me to do that. Not the the, the inverse. make the information visible to everyone. So uh, uh, we use like J uh, Jira for, for the development so everyone can uh, uh, follow the, the whole process of the, the development of the software we are building. And uh, we can use Trello also for market marketers. And we also use like uh, tools um, like chat or ERC or something like that because I think it's not like the tool uh, what is important. I think it's uh, how you communicate because the, the tool is just a way to communicate with the, your peers. So um, maybe this tool is a good one and we don't know, but uh, I think the, the state that we are at right now, uh, it's, it's going on, it's going, uh, it's, go it's going good. So maybe it, it can be optimized and be better, uh, uh, but actually today we are not using this this tool specifically for the, the constraint uh, stuff. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. If you apply the tool to your company, you can use the tools and the tool you work for you. Because you have a beautiful tool and nobody works properly. You don't have the metrics, you don't have the, the flow the, the proper way. Uh, what's the name of the tool? Uh, last question for me. What, what's the what's the name of your company stand for? The name of your company. What does it stand for? Taller, uh, 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 and in Spanish it's like taller um, uh, here. Taller is uh, a workshop, studio, something like that. Uh, in, in in Portuguese we say yeah. Uh, um, Atelier. Like crafting. Yeah, like we are not a, we are not a um, uh, industry of software. We are a atelier, like a tajé, like not a fabric. Yeah. Isn't it, isn't it taller, like higher? <laughs> can be, can be, but I, I don't think so. Maybe maybe Sebas. <laughs> okay. Hi. Um, when you started your business, mm, you started doing Drupal from zero, or you started with another technologies of uh, CMS. Um, you know, why? I mean, if you did, so, I mean, if you did so, why did you migrate to drop Drupal, uh, or you always? Uh, began, began with Drupal. No, I just think. Quieres que repita la pregunta? Okay. When, when? You, oh. <laughs> yes, but she wants to record the question. Okay. 
when you started your business from zero, you started from, with Drupal uh, from the beginning, or you started to programming from with another software on from zero all the the, the programmation of the the websites or on the project. That's a good question. Uh, this slide, what we talking about the blue ocean? That's what uh, answered that. Because uh, in 2012, we realized that Drupal is really strong in USA, in America, and Europe. In Brazil, is really wicked. Nobody, no, no much company doing Drupal, and that's the why we start with Drupal, uh, just with Drupal. Rafael have a lot of experience in another CMS, and we meet him. We spoke with that, and he showed me the, the, that, that big picture in the world, and we start to we think uh, probably is a is a gonna good a good way to to make a company, and we start with that that, that technology. When we start the company, I uh, had have uh, four years experience in Drupal, and I participate in the Kidupper community, and my partner Sebastian. Uh, have a lot of experience too. So we, in, in this time, we were really focused on Drupal and we did just Drupal and we are a Drupal shop, really Drupal shop. We, uh, we still are a Drupal shop. But now we, we, we start to, to do some uh, other things that communicate with Drupal. So Drupal is our main business and is what we do with what we are passionate about. And, but now we try, we try to work with JavaScript and React and Cordoba and, and uh, Node.js and other technologies that can communicate with Drupal and do the uh, ecosystem. And, and we try to, to uh, we, we, we grow. So we, have to, we want to uh, get all the ecosystem uh, to our clients. Congratulations for the presentation. And the thing here, I, I, I feel some, some identify with, with your company because I have the same kind of company. I ha I'm a developer, I have a crazy guy like this. <laughs> and you have to solve all of his problems. Uh, I, so I can't imagine how it is. But the thing, uh, SMK, SMK. So at this time, I have, I, I um, I'm on some way like I'm I'm doing all always everything on Drupal. I'm starting to to work with another uh, tool. It's all yes to to manage all my the projects and the human resources of the company and the, um, uh, and the um, ¿cómo se dice? Contador. accounting things. So what do you think about work everything on Drupal and use another tools like 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 Odo to to follow up your team and everything like that? I I, I don't know if I understand but uh, you 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 talk about uh, using other tools than Drupal to to to, to manage the, the the team. No, I I don't have we, we didn't have any problem. For example, we try to use the Open Atrium, we try to use um, what's the, the name for, for Akia? Uh, 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 Drupal Commons, and, and we try uh, uh, a lot of our tools in Drupal, but we, we really want to do the, the, the best tool that we, for, for, the, for the job. So now, for example, we use the Yammer, uh, you know, to, to communicate, to, to communication, uh, and it's, it's really, it's really good. We are studying to, to migrate to Open Atrium because it's, it's easier to us to make plugins and make modules, and this is nice. Because, but, but we, ha I, I don't think we, we have any problem with that. The, the, the team is, is doesn't complain <laughs> about that. Gracias. <laughs> 